Hey Air Signs and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your daily love message. This is for Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So guys, I was doing your pre-shuffle and I got the Chariot, the Six of Swords, the Eight of Cups more than once. So some big movement happening, whether that be you moving forward or the other person. There is uh, some major, major shifting going on. So I'm going to tip you down here so you guys can see your cards as they come out. Hopefully you can see that okay. All right. So, oh, there it is again. The Chariot and the Ace of Pentacles. So you guys are uh, really ready to move forward, ready to move to a place of healing, ready to, uh, you know, leave behind all that didn't work out for you. Bottom of the deck is the Five of Cups, most definitely leaving behind um, energy that was hurtful. Um, you're moving fast um, and, and towards a new beginning, a new opportunity. Um, this, when these two come out together, uh, this could be you, um, you know, ascending to a higher level of spirituality. You see the lotus there with all the stars around it. Um, and then the Ace of Pentacles, that's a gift from the universe, a new beginning. So you could, you know, raising your vibration, um, you know, right, right in the Merkaba. Uh, if you don't know what that is, just Google it. It's, you know, it's, it's gaining a higher level. The person that you are dealing with, it's breaking their heart. They have the Three of Swords. The energy coming towards you guys is the Ten of Swords in reverse. So the needing the the end for this is needed. The end for the hurt in the past. Um, you're moving forward. You see a new beginning. Um, this person we'll get we'll get uh, clarifiers on these because that's all right. What's spirit's advice? But this is you know the energy coming towards you. You're nearing the end of the cycle, needing to let go of the past. Um, yeah, and just releasing that hurt. There could have been um, hurt on both sides. Uh, Spirit's advice, the sun card, beautiful. Allow your light to be illuminated. Allow that warmth in. Um, move forward in a direction that, that you feel is called for you. Um, your path is being illuminated, and that's why you're taking this chariot on out of here. Um, but this is finding the courage to and the strength to do what it is that you want, not living your life for anybody else. Um, allowing things to be illuminated that uh, could have been done in the dark. Uh, it's just a very positive card. You know, looking at the positives of things. Uh, because things are going to get better for you. Alright, the outcome. Ooh is the Four of Pentacles with the Knight of Pentacles. So um, you could be changing your focus um, on to money. You could be changing your focus on your career. You could be changing careers altogether. Some of you are moving away um, for a new job, and that's breaking someone's heart because you're not they're not going with you. Um, but your focus right now is really on... Um, you know, gathering what you need to move forward. Um, and you are going to move forward and find success. Um, even though you're moving, um, quite slowly, that is okay. Um, bottom of your deck is the ace of swords. So you're waking up, you're, uh, getting this divine truth that, that makes you realize you can't stay where you're at. There's no growth where you're at. There's no room to expand and, and become, um, you know, better, greater, whatever your desire is to grow as a soul, as a person. Um, so you are leaving this situation um, because you're being guided. You're being led by the universe to this new opportunity, this big opportunity. You've taken a lot of time to think about this. You didn't just do this, um, you know, quickly, hastily, hastily, but you know that you need to return to a place of balance in your life. This relationship could have had a lot of imbalances, Let's get some. Uh, let's get some clarifiers because the uh, Seven of Swords is the next card out under High Priestess. So this person, uh, one of you could have had a third party. Let's get what the Chariot is. Whoa! Why is the Chariot here for our air signs? Thank you. 
the hanged man. So yeah, like I said, you didn't take, you didn't do this quickly. You thought about this. Um, during this hanged man, you were awakened. You were enlightened to what um, opportunities you have out there. And you're taking them. You're jumping on that chariot and you are um, moving forward. Bottom of your deck is the Ace of Wands. So so many new beginnings here for you. So many new cycles. Um, and you see an opportunity with somebody else, air sign. You see um, the possibility for a very stable, structured relationship um, with lots of open communication. You could be communicating to an earth sign, air sign, that you are moving out of a situation. You're moving away from, could be a cancer, um, uh, Pisces, yeah, you're you're most definitely awakened though. This is awakened to the to um, the beautiful level of of spirituality that you can gain that you have gained in this time of hanged man. You see in the card, he has three beams of light coming from his head. That's the Trinity. Um, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost has awakened him to the truth. Um, and and this person, air sign, you guys are. Um, going to take an open door of opportunity. Um, very fast messages coming back and forth. This could just kind of, um, this is going to happen very quickly once you decide to move out of this situation. Um, and it is going to bring you a stable home, a stable relationship, a stable environment, um, a very grounded, loving connection between you and somebody else. Um, why is it three of swords here? The three of wands in reverse and the star in reverse. So, yeah, this person's heartbroken um, because you are walking away from them. They could have had a third party in the past, but they're just heartbroken that you are you are leaving them, um, that you are moving towards somebody else. Um, and they're, they're in some need of healing um, from this situation. With the star in reverse, they could be refusing to look at their hurts, their wounds, um, even though the universe is going to be showing them um, front and center here very soon. Ten of Wands in reverse, the Sun and the Page of Shields all in reverse. So yeah, this is coming to the end. You're walking away from this. You're leaving the burden behind. You're leaving the betrayal, the backstabbed, uh, backstabbing energy, going in search of balance. Um, finding your own inner light with the hermit reverse, you have found your inner light and now you have the courage to follow it. Um, with the page of shields, you could have been holding on a little longer than what you should have due to children. But with the sun card here twice, um, you are most definitely moving into the path that you're meant to be on air science. Why is the sun here for the advice? Thank you. All right. Bottom of your deck is six of swords. But uh, spirit's advice is the sun with the two of swords in reverse, making a decision to follow your own path, to um, leave behind somebody possibly who you have children with or a mother father uh, relationship. Um, you're wanting to create. You can't create here. You feel held back. You feel confined. You feel like you can't grow. So Spirit's advice is to make a decision to walk away from the person who is hampering you from creating a new life, um, to find joy and celebration in life and walk away from third party situations because you do have the opportunity for big love here. Um, but you have to move away from your current situation to find that big love because your growth is being stunted here. You're not able to create the life you want with this person. Um, and you are, you are figuring that out with that truth. All right. Your outcome is the four of pentacles. Why is that here? Why is the four of pentacles here? There's a four of pentacles here for air signs. Thank you. Four of cups at the bottom of your deck and the page of swords. So you're finding out some information that's going to make it a lot easier um, to uh, move forward. But also you could be finding out information that your partner has been like trying to hide finances from you, hide money from you, um, trying to, or you could be trying to uh, like stockpile money. So you have enough to leave this person. Um, you are going to move forward, um, but I only see one pinnacle in that person's, uh, in that card. So 
um, with the Knight of Pentacles, you are moving forward and getting out of this state of confusion, no longer allowing this fog to hold you back, um, not settling for love offers that aren't big enough um, to, to make you happy. And you're going to go out and find yourself again. You're going to um, invest in your own happiness. Um, you could be going back to, you know, taking classes or, but this is just someone who's very confident in walking away um, because they know they deserve better. They know that the other person is not investing enough to, um, to make them happy. So you are moving forward, very stable, very steady air signs, and you are moving into a more communicative, communicating relationship that is going to be very stable and grounding for you um, and going to be able to give you the growth, the room to grow that you would like. <clears throat> All right. Bottom of the deck is the two of cups in reverse. So you could have at one time thought this was your soulmate and now you're um, realizing that it's not. But uh, in this time of sitting alone by yourself, trying to figure out what you wanted, once again, you were awakened, enlightened to what you need to do, that this cup is that's being offered is way better uh, than the three you're looking at because it's higher. It's a higher level of commitment through spirituality, not like, you know, marriage versus boyfriend, girlfriend. It's This is a spiritually elevated uh, relationship. Um, when you go with the flow, when you found, when you find your inner light and decide to follow that path illuminated by the sun, it's going to bring you into this, um, good fortune. When you go with the flow of life, when you try not to, um, hold things up or stay in a situation where you're not meant to be, this is also, uh, the wheel of karma in the upright. You have put good karma out there and it's coming back in for you. Um, sometimes you have to do what's best for you, air signs and walk away. And that's what you're doing. You're walking away from a situation that's very imbalanced. Like I said, this person could have had a third party and you've had enough. Um, you're waking up to the, to the realization that what this person is offering isn't what you want, isn't um, good enough for what you need in life. You're no longer deciding to put up with this shared energy and you are taking your swords and walking away cutting yourself out of that third party situation. Um, especially if you are the spouse, um, but yeah, it's going to leave some people heartbroken, but you have to do what's best for you. And remember, air signs, um, your energy can be vice versa, um, depending on what side you resonate with. So let's get a guidance card for you guys for today. Spirit Angels, can I get one card of guidance for our air signs? Thank you. Bottom of the deck, quiet time. Take some time alone to rest, to meditate, to contemplate. And your, oh, you got two here. You guys got sensitivity and golden opportunity. Wow. Okay, so you got the Ace of Pentacles with the Wheel of Fortune. There's your golden opportunity. It says, important doors are opening for you right now. Walk through them. And then you got sensitivity. You are becoming increasingly sensitive. Avoid harsh relationships, environments, situations, and chemicals. So, yeah. Avoid this harsh relationship. Walking away, I mean, those both look pretty harsh. So let's see what the book says about golden opportunity. All right, it says, like the ocean, life moves in waves and tides. Timing is everything. So when an opportunity presents itself, you must dive in at that moment. Everything you've done to prepare yourself will accompany you. Yet if you hesitate or procrastinate, another opportunity will surely come along just as the tides wash in and out continuously. But it may be quite some time before that opportunity like this will come again. Like the ocean, life is rich with variety and beauty. Enjoy experiences, various rhythms, and allow all doubts to be washed away. Don't hesitate. This is the right thing to do. Your prayers are being answered when you take a big step forward. Get ready for big and glorious opportunities. And sensitivity. Uh, White Tara is this uh, goddess. Let me find it. There it is. Okay. It says, as you've purified your inner world of thoughts, actions, and intentions, it's natural that you seek the purity, which you did in the hanged man. It's natural for you to seek the purity <clears throat> uh, in your outer world as well. This is to acknowledge your heightened sensitivity, which is at which is as real as it seems. You've stripped away the other protective layers of unneeded defenses, which blocked your psychic and spiritual awareness. Now you're on a path of ascension. 
whoa, which calls for your heightened awareness. What did I say? You guys are riding the Merkaba. You guys are ascending. Um, now you're on a path of ascension, which calls for your heightened awareness. With this awareness comes new levels of sensitivity to impure and harsh. The Your body is a trustworthy instrument of measurement of your tolerance level. Steer clear of all of which your body signals you to avoid. Take excellent care of your body and you shall serve well. Acknowledge and honor your sensitivity. Take steps to protect yourself from negativity. Avoid chemicals and steer clear of situations with loud noise, crowds, violent media, or other triggers. Wow, Air Science, that is an amazing, amazing reading for you guys today. I'm so happy for you guys. All right. I got, hope you guys have a beautiful day, and I will see you next time. God bless.